Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Beauty Boost. Thanks for joining me for my accidental series on beers I should have drunk whilst in Florida but was slightly ill in the nasal area and the chest area to actually get around to drinking them at the time. Um, these I would have preferred to have drink in, drunk in sunny Orlando but never mind. Uh, this was another one that was seemed to be available everywhere. This is uh, the Voodoo Ranger, it's part of the Voodoo Ranger range, it's their Imperial IPA. It's from a company called New Belgium Brewing. It is 9% ABV, so a really good um, ABV for uh, Imperial IPA. Lovely artwork. I love the artwork on these. These are great. There's several styles. This there's a juicy IPA one as well, but I just thought I just, which I've, I meant to bring back with me. Completely forgot, but glad I got this one. Um, I think I got this one in one of their. Um, I think it's a CVS pharmacy, um, believe it or not, one of their chemists over there. Um, I think I paid about three dollars for it, which is what two forty, two fifty ish. But they're amazing. Um, Pull that with a cracking head, aren't I? Uh, this is a pint. So you get a whole pint in a can. Uh, that's some, I'll just tell you this, this quick story. There's some amazing fridges over there, really clever fridges that run advertisements on, on the front of the fridge. And when they know somebody's in front of it, you, it actually shows you pictures of what's behind it and price and stuff. Absolutely flipping amazing. Um, yeah, so that has poured uh, clear. I'm going to call that clear. It is, it's got a slight haze, but I think it's just a cold. Um, so clear, it's a dark golden colour with a lovely, looks like a lovely creamy actually, just off white head and lots of nice carbonation. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, let's get the aroma, shall we? Yes, yeah, so like I said, these guys did um, did a hazy IPA one. If you've heard of a brand called um, Flat Tire, it's these guys that are behind that as well. It smells, smells really nice actually, it smells, you can smell the bready malt and a bit of citrus as well. Bit mangoey, bit orangey, bit of grapefruit maybe. That smells nice, let's taste it shall we, cheers everybody. I should have done a bit of research on these guys. Shouldn't I? I think over there, these guys are classed as a macro brewer. Because the stuff really is absolutely everywhere. I don't think you can go in a shop without finding some of their stuff on, on the shelf somewhere. That's not bad. First off, you get a really nice sweetness coming through um, from the beer itself. Some nice citrus flavours. There's a there is some grapefruit in there. There is some pineapple in there. A little bit of mango, perhaps a little bit of orange. So a little bit citrusy, tiny little bit of tropical. It's got a really nice, smooth buttery feel to it which I'm not sure actually if that comes off the hops that butteriness don't tell you the Americans never seem to tell you anything at all about what you're drinking <coughs> other than uh, don't drink it especially if you're a pregnant lady which I'm not um, yes it's got a nearly nice butteriness which I think like I say must be Probably is more from hop oils than anything else. Mm. 
there was a really nice astringent pininess on the back end as well just giving it a little bit of gentle bitterness not a lot lovely gentle bitterness it's a brewed predominantly to the west coast IPA style it's actually really good I don't mind this at all um, lovely medium mouthfeel nice light, lively carbonation when, when in the mouth there is a lot going on there like I say you've got the sweetness you've got the bitterness you've got those citrus flavours a little bit of tropical flavours going on that oily butteriness it feels quite complex but the sweetness and that nice gentle bitterness is really really well balanced and I have to say Um, it hides the ABV quite well you can tell at the back end you're drinking something that's got a little bit of an um, alcoholic kick to it but it's not OTT by any stretch of the imagination it's quite uh, inoffensive easy drinking Imperial IPA I mean, I dare say you could actually, it's so easy drinking, you could knock a couple of these back quite easily. Quite, quite easily knock a couple of those back. Like I say, in the Florida sun, that will be incredibly refreshing. <coughs> in the dark, dank um, winter, in the UK, maybe it doesn't feel quite as refreshing. But that is a decent beer. That is a very decent beer indeed. Um, yeah, New Belgium Brewing, your Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. I like that. I like that enough to score that. I like, yeah, I'm going to score 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for Mandy's Beer Reviews. If you're drinking tonight, please enjoy it. Until the next review, cheers everybody.